so this video is all about uh, if you are planning to visit indonesia and in indonesia we are mostly talking about uh, the bali international airport but basically the requirement is same for uh, any international airport of indonesia so uh, let's first uh, talk about the requirement so first thing you need uh, international vaccination certificate okay so that you will get it from a covin app uh, you can uh, there is a section to download the international certificate for that you just need to enter your passport detail and you will get your PDF ready there uh, now uh, the second thing as per their requirement the government advisory you need to install an app called Peduli Lindu G app may I, I like I may spell it wrong uh, I'll add the link in the description you just need to download the app you can register the app two to three days before arrival to Bali. So uh, please register the register the things required. In that, mostly you need to upload your vaccination certificate, international vaccination certificate there, and that will be verified in like uh, some 24 hours. Uh, after that, you will get a QR code. So you just need to download the QR code. So at the time of immigration, you need to. Uh, just show the QR code here. Uh, uh, in my case, it is not checked, but it's better to keep safe, safe, safe. It's just uh, it's not a time consuming. It will save your time if it is required at the time of immigration. Then I think that will take more <laughs> one hour of time. So, so try to do it. If it uh, try to register it, if you upload it and if it, you didn't get the certificate verified, then it's not an issue. You can get it verified at the time of immigration also there. So they will do the process instantly. So now let's talk about the boarding process from India to Bali. So while boarding at any international airport from India, you need to show your passport which should have six months of validity uh, then you need to show the international certificate vaccination certificate and the return ticket from what so these three things are required basically uh, while boarding uh, and if you and obviously you will be transiting from uh, singapore vietnam or malaysia because there is no direct flight to bali so uh, to, you generally don't like you don't need actually any visa or any other documents at a transiting airport because you will be just transiting if you are leaving the airport then it's a different case okay but if you are transiting you don't need to show any visa uh, or any other required documents there uh, you uh, after reaching bali airport uh, uh, like uh, you have to go to immigration of the seat and there you need to show actually only the return ticket your passport and five lakh of indonesian rupees or equivalent usd they will only collect usd or indonesian rupees so be sure to have uh, dollars uh, of that amount equivalent amount uh, they will keep the change uh, of that amount you get a good change ratio uh, so you get some indonesian uh, rupees uh, while actually like uh, paying the amount in USD. So, yeah, the process immigration process in Bali is very straightforward. They, they didn't even check the app or the vaccination certificate. So, just a passport and the amount that's all to get a 30 day of visa on arrival at Bali airport. Uh, so, that's all for the immigration to Bali. Let's talk about the process. Um, from Bali to India so if, if when uh, going back to India as per the Indian advisory before 30th, 13th of February you need to show the artificial certificate which you will get easily uh, like almost everywhere book online and you'll get it done but now uh, as per the latest advisory from 13th February onwards uh, you don't need to show any artificial certificate only uh, they will do random testing for 2% of international passengers irrespective of uh, any transiting or any country you are from so they will just check so that is even free of course so you don't need to worry about uh, uh, getting into India now uh, for Indians it's not an issue at all if you have the passport that's all so yeah that's all for uh, like uh, getting to Indonesia and back to Bali 
uh, ho- uh, hopefully uh, this video is informative for you to just plan your next trip holiday destination uh, keep touch like keep follow our channel uh, we will be posting lot of uh, videos uh, to Bali and the process to go, go to some of the Indonesian islands which are really a paradise to visit so thank you thank you